I just spent $80 on a font to make my command line look a little nicer. And I have no idea whether this was a good decision or if I just lit $80 on fire. Hi everybody and welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt and today's video is me just thinking out loud, sorting through my feelings on spending a non-insubstantial amount of money on a font so that my terminal looks a little nicer. Uh, it's also gonna make my text editors look a little nicer, uh, Visual Studio Code, Nova, whatever. Um, I actually use both of those for different things, but that's not the topic for today's video. Today's video is about Mono Lisa, which is a monospaced font that you can buy online. I'll put a link in the description. This is not sponsored uh, by any means, just a thing that I liked and was <laughs> liked enough, uh, their sales pitch worked on me and I spent a good sum of money on it. And so uh, I'll show it on screen right now, but basically it is a monospaced font you can use, use for coding, you can use it for command line stuff, you can use it for anything you want, you can use it for writing. <sighs> but it's 80 bucks and I am not afraid of paying for fonts that I think are really good. I really like what, um, uh, Monotype does with their fonts. I've, I own a couple fonts from them. Uh, I use Bjorn right now for all the new A Better Computer branding, which you should have seen on this video. This is the first video to use it, so I hope you like it. Uh, and then if you've been watching the channel previously, uh, you probably are familiar with Future and Now, which I've used for all of the text in these videos for basically the past year. And I'm a big fan of that font as well. Felt like changing it up and got uh, Bjorn, which is the new one. Uh, but yeah, big fan of what Monotype does. I paid for a couple of their fonts and I'm very happy with those purchases because I use them for media style stuff. But this was a monospaced font for my command line. And is that really a thing that I should be spending money on? <laughs> and so I don't know, but I do know that if I look at my desk setup, if I look at other YouTubers desk setups, if you're watching a video like this, probably your desk setup too, you could look at it and find things that you spent more money on them than you strictly needed to, right? Like, did you need a $100 mouse? Did you need a mechanical keyboard with $150 keycaps? No, you probably don't. Or even if you aren't using like crazy high-end stuff, there's probably stuff there that you bought because it looks nice, it makes you feel good, and you want your workspace that you're spending tons of time in to be an enjoyable place to be. And that's kind of how I feel about this font is that for work, I spend a lot of time in text editors and in my terminal. I'm a designer by trade, but I do some work with devs and I am a, I'm not a professional developer, but I know enough to kind of get around and do some stuff. And so I do end up doing a lot of work there as well. And I want those environments, my digital environments to be really nice as well. So that's why I felt okay buying this. Uh, I know other people are gonna be like, are you insane? <laughs> Why would you do that? Um, but I really like this font. I think it looks nice. Again, I'll try to show some examples on screen right now so you get an example of kind of what they look like. But yeah, it's a nice font <laughs> um, that I enjoy. Uh, and I'm not a font critic, so I can't tell you exactly why I enjoy it. But their website has some examples why they think it's great. Um, and you can check that out. But since I know most people won't want to spend that money on a font for their terminal, for their code editor, they may want to change up their look anyway, and there's plenty of free options to do that as well. And I wanted to show you those today because I think those are things that everybody should look at, everybody could get value from. And again, all of these that I'm talking about are totally free. You don't have to spend a penny to get them. They're either open source or just made free by their developers. So let's jump into it. So I'm not gonna to get too into the details on all of these because you're just gonna see each of these fonts and you're going to know right away whether you think it's good for you or not. The two that I recommend that a lot of people should check out are IBM Plex Mono and Anonymous Pro. And so IBM Plex Mono is from IBM, as you might have guessed, and they have a whole range of uh, fonts in this family. There's a sans serif version, there's a serif version, I think there's a script version even, uh, but the monospace one is really solid as well, and I think has great definition between the characters, looks really nice in light and dark themes, and is just really well put together, has lots of custom ligature, ligur lit ligaturatures? Ligaturatures. I don't know if that's right, uh, but it has lots of those. <laughs> so your code looks kind of fancy if you're into that. Uh, most editors let you turn that off if you don't want that. But yeah, IBM Plex Sans, or IBM Plex Mono, I should say, is a huge recommendation for me. Again, totally open source and free. You should try it out. Links to all these will be in the description. I also like Anonymous Pro, and this is a monospace font for people who want a little more flair, a little more softness to their monospace font. So a lot of monospace fonts I find are pretty angular. 
really codish, like really uh, nerdy in a way. And I think Anonymous Pro, it is a monospaced font, but it has these kind of serif style ligatures, not ligatures, I keep using that word. It, it looks a little softer, it looks a little more playful, it looks a little more just friendly, I think, than a lot of these code fonts. Uh, and I really like that. I've actually been using that on my work computer for the past year or so because I just think it is a little nicer, a little friendlier, just a nice thing to look at. And again, this is what it's all about, is legibility and just how much do my eyes like uh, what it looks like. So Anonymous Pro, probably one you haven't necessarily used, but definitely worth, worth checking out. It's available on Google Fonts, uh, and you can just download it from GitHub as well. And then a lot of companies have put out their own fonts. A lot of big companies have put out their own fonts. So Apple has SF Mono, which is San Francisco Mono, uh, which is pre-installed on all Macs. Um, I believe it is, or at least it's available in the terminal app. I think that's the default font. So uh, you can do some finding, you can search around your system to find those font files and just add them to the font book uh, if you wanna do that. Uh, that one is nice, a little plain, but definitely nice. Uh, Microsoft has one, I believe it's called Cascadia. Um, and that is, um, again, a monospace font for coding. Uh, this one I don't like as much, but again, is totally free and is going to definitely appeal to people, especially if you are more into the Windows style. Uh, and if you're on a Windows machine, then this might look more like the rest of the system and may look more to your taste uh, than it does to me. But uh, it's a pretty nice font. Uh, you can check that out. And then there's also JetBrains Mono. And this one is definitely an opinionated one. This one really pops compared to the other ones uh, that you're probably used to seeing. It just seems to have more character, uh, more angles, more, it's, it's, it's just, it's a lot. <laughs> and some people are gonna like that, some people aren't. It's not quite the right one for me, but it's definitely a good looking font uh, that has a lot of coding features, a lot of stuff in it. So if you want a font that has a lot and looks definitely opinionated, this is maybe a good direction to at least check out. And again, all of these are totally free, so you can just check them out and see if they work for you. If they don't, you've lost nothing. You can just go ahead and switch back to another font, uh, and that's all fine. I'll put some more on the screen, maybe right here, but uh, there's countless options out there. Uh, those are some of the ones that I've used in the past, ones that I can recommend, even if they're not quite right for me, uh, because I have a stupid $80 font <laughs> myself. Uh, I think they're definitely worth checking out. And if you don't uh, have a custom font set up in your text editor, in your terminal, um, give it a shot. Uh, you may not care at all, and you may be totally fine with what's there by default and that's cool too, but if you wanted to kind of mix up your style, uh, it is kind of a bit, bit of a rabbit hole. You can go down theming your text editor, your terminal to exactly what you want. A lot of terminal apps will even let you customize each individual color yourself so you can totally make it your own. There's a lot out there. It's a big rabbit hole you can go down, but just changing your fonts can improve the legibility of your terminal, of your code editor, and it can also just be fun. So but that's uh, some recommendations from me. Again, links to all this will be in the description. Uh, they're all free, uh, except for Mono, Mono Lisa. Uh, and Mono Lisa is not sponsoring this at all uh, because I didn't really advertise it. I just said I made a stupid decision, <laughs> uh, but I kind of like it. Uh, so all that is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.